Hey folks, Pat here from DNS. This Madison area fishing report is current as of October 21st. Uh, before we get started, I made a post earlier in the week about uh, the lake, uh, Lake Mendota turning over. Um, I had a bunch of questions about what that means. So uh, this is the Lake Mendota buoy uh, website. Um, I've mentioned this site many times before. Uh, it's a great resource for finding out the conditions on Lake Mendota, but it monitors the lake temps all the way down. You can click on the little graph there. And uh, essentially what turnover is, is in the summertime, these top three layers of water on the lake will be uh, warmer than the bottom three layers. And as we move into fall and the temperatures uh, get lower at night and during the day, these temperatures start to become uh, closer and closer. So right now you can see it's about 53 degrees all the way down. And what that um, what's happened is, is this warm water has become the same temperature as the bottom water. And when turnover occurs, um, this upper water, which is less dense than the cold water, um, eventually becomes, has the same properties and um, you get a windy day or night come through and that'll churn the lake up. And this warm water that's on top, full of oxygen, moves down to the bottom and the bottom water which uh, stirs up a bunch of sediment moves up to the top uh, this mixes all the water in the lake and so you get um, oxygenated water and the same temperature water throughout the system and that uh, allows fish to move freely uh, wherever they'd like and this also uh, gets the fish going into their fall patterns pretty heavy so they're getting ready for winter so um, the best fishing of the year is arguably just after turnover until ice up here. So, uh, and then speaking of ice up, this will happen again in the spring. So you get cold water on top, warmer water on the bottom. Uh, in the spring, when this water warms up, the lake will flip again, and uh, the the you know process continues. It does it twice a year, every year. So uh, I guess I just wanted to kind of try to clarify some of that. Hope hope that helped. Um, as far as shop news. Uh, we get more and more ice fishing stuff up on the shelves uh, every day. We got uh, some, a bunch of Vexilars in. Um, got uh, a bunch of jigs in, a bunch of rat finkies here up on the jig wall. Got, uh, of course, I mentioned our auger selection is out. Um, and also, um, you know, the tip-ups that we had are, are still here. I did, speaking of tip-ups, I, I did get uh, a few more of the walleye uh, beaver dam tip-ups in. So... Uh, I know a lot of people were looking for those, got some of those in. Also, uh, pulsator rods, great um, ice fishing rod for hole hopping panfish. Uh, nice long rod, uh, really sensitive tip, uh, gives you a great uh, cadence uh, when you're jigging. So uh, anyway, got a bunch of pulsators in. Those are a very sought after rod and I doubt we'll uh, stick around too long. Also, um, speaking of sought after rods, um, Kevin Monk, uh, does custom fishing rods. He's got his selection of rods up here, and we also uh, got some friable coolers and some fishing gloves you can see in the background there. Anyway, uh, just wanted to let you know that there's a bunch of stuff up and a bunch more on the way. Uh, as far as the fishing report goes, uh, cooler temps this last week have the lakes turned over, like I said, and some of the best year fishing of the years year is upon us. And um, speaking of uh, weather, the this weekend looks absolutely gorgeous. It's I think it's gonna be 70 degrees today. It's supposed to be 70, I believe, through the weekend. So um, could be the last nice weekend to get out. So get it while you can, because uh, yeah, we got some colder temps on the way for sure. Um, like we mentioned, the Mendota buoys reading 53 degrees all the way to the bottom. Generally, uh, fishing around the lake has been good. Shallow water action continues to pick up. Um, for, uh, but people, folks are still finding some walleyes out on uh, mid lake hump, mid lake humps. Um, so, uh, it's a, really a great time to be fishing, but we'll get into some more details here talk about some of that, uh, up here on Cherokee, uh, still a weedy mess up there, uh, but uh, the weeds are coming down and it's getting better every day. Um, still some good largemouth action up there and uh, a lot of pike still, it's just a pike factory up there. So, uh, a lot of 20 to 30 inch fish, um, but very plentiful up there. Uh, the 113 bridge. Uh, still hearing good reports of catfish coming out of there, some walleyes hanging out, uh, perch and crappies also being caught. So a nice mixed bag over there, the 113. Um, perch bite around the lake has been kind of tough still. I, I'm not uh, not sure why. There's uh, a ton of fish in the system. The perch folks are getting tend to be on the small side, but um, 
so the big ones are a little elusive right now, but they are finding fish on the weed lines and sometimes right in the weeds. I've also been hearing reports about fish out deeper, so 20, 25, even out to 35 feet. I've been hearing about perch, but um, like I said, a lot of those fish are smaller. The good news is the bluegills are kind of filling that role and are hanging out on the weed lines. Uh, some really good numbers of bluegills in the lake right now and a uh, couple good year classes out there and um, some really good sized ones coming out of the, the Mendota jumbos that Mendota is known for are all out there too. Um, bass bite's been good, shallow, uh, largemouth bass in weeds, smallmouth bass on rocks. Um, uh, the walleye bite has been great all over the lake. Been hearing about great numbers of fish coming off mid lake humps, so Dunn's Bar, Second Point, Commodore, Greerly Bars over here, but also on, on some of your uh, points too. So Picnic Point, Governor's Island's been good, Maple Bluff's been good. Um, but yeah, a lot of fish out there. Uh, minnow imitations as far as baits, um, you know, swim baits. Uh, working great. Also hard baits like Rapala's, you know, casting husky jerks, stuff like that are working well, but uh, still pretty hard to beat a, a you know, a fathead uh, either on a jig or under a slip bobber. So uh, lots of good, uh, lots of good walleye action out there. Uh, also uh, speaking of shore angling, uh, the university shoreline has been good uh, up here to Tenney. The break wall for walleyes has been great uh, recently, mostly an evening bite, but I do hear about fish being caught right in the middle of the day. Uh, not much going on at the spillway itself uh, over here the Yahara River at the Lock and Dam, but uh, some good action, a mixed bag of fish, everything from panfish to bass to walleye to even a, a muskie here and there coming out of the river. A um, bunch of tiny bluegills in the Tenney Park Lagoon. I heard from a friend uh, who was fit, catching some of those little bluegills over there the other day that uh, there was some big fish in there chasing around those bluegills, so uh, might be a good chance to get in there. Look for some of them. There's bass and, and some nice pike in there. Uh, good fishing always where the Yahara play where the Yahara River dumps out. Been hearing about some decent pike action along the, the shoreline here um, on the north end. Uh, been hearing about uh, bluegills and perch still on the weed lines and in the weeds. Um, uh, good bluegill and, and crappie action off the Monona Terrace Wall. Bluegill and crappie action in uh, Monona Bay and the triangles here continues to pick up. Lake Winger has been pretty quiet as far as muskie action goes uh, from what I hear, but um, I'm, I know that there's muskies out there and uh, they're, they're getting ready for, fall, for winter here, so a uh, good chance to get out and get those. Uh, I've been hearing about some good panfish off the medical bar out here uh, near Olin Park. I uh, haven't heard much out of the far south end, Squaw Bay and Turbo, Turbo Bay lately. Uh, Rock Pile is always a good uh, spot out here for mixed, mixed action, a uh, good muskie spot. And speaking of muskie, I've been hearing about uh, good reports of muskies being caught all over the lake, but uh, I guess more on the south end of the lake. Uh, but Monona, the muskie bite's really been turning up lately. Up here on Upper Mud, uh, the dredge hole's been a great spot for panfish lately. And the shallow areas around uh, in Mud Lake here have been, had some good bass action. Um, swim baits have been really effective for those fish. Uh, haven't heard much out of Lake Farm recently, uh, but I'm sure there's panfish up there. I have been hearing about some good panfish action all around the lake, kind of on the weed lines, though, uh, maybe more uh, in the south end of the lake here. But on the weed lines, uh, some good perch and bluegills coming out of there. We, on the weed lines and it, right in the weeds. Um, also, I've uh, been hearing about some uh, decent walleye action uh, coming out of the Hog Island area. Uh, those uh, walleyes seem to be a little, a little deeper. I've been hearing about fish in 25 to 30 feet of water, which, uh, you know, I guess is... A little deeper than I thought they might be right now, um, but musky action, you know, is uh, kind of the name of the game down here on Wabisa as well, and and it's um, it's been pretty fantastic lately. I've been hearing about a lot of fish coming out of there. Um, down on Kiganza, it's been very quiet uh, the last month or so, but I did just get a couple reports this week of fish, um, some good panfish action on the weed lines and right in the weeds, uh, some good perch. Uh, some good bluegills and a ton of uh, small yellow bass uh, out there right now. So there's a strong yellow bass population that's uh, coming up, I guess. So I um, guess that's it for the chain here locally. Uh, down on Lake Kashkanang, I haven't heard much out of there lately. Um, you know, I imagine they're still getting fish uh, here at the mouth of the uh, Rock River, but uh, I haven't heard much specific uh, coming out of there. 
uh, Fort Atkinson to Jefferson, been get, getting uh, reports of catfish, walleyes, and uh, white bass, all uh, you know in these in these two areas. Uh, a lot of fish uh, up at the Jefferson Dam right now, so that's always uh, an option. Um, over to the Wisconsin River, uh, water levels are very low right now, um, lower than seasonal levels, uh, but uh, it's been dry around here. Uh, but what that low water does is it tends to congregate, concentrate fish in um, deeper areas. So dams are great spots, uh, but you know, other side of sandbars, deep corners, stuff like that. So it makes it a lot easier to, to find fish this time of year. Um, but I have been hearing of good muskie reports up at the Prairie du Sac Dam. Also good walleye reports up here at the dam. Um, some white bass and um, catfish up there too, you know, always a good mixed bag at all the dams. So Pettenwell, Castle Rock, um, or same, same deal. Wisconsin Dells Dam, always a, always a, you never really know what you're going to catch at, 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 at the dams. Uh, Lake Wisconsin action seems to be picking up a bit uh, on the trolling side of things. A lot of folks getting some good walleyes trolling, um, flicker shad style baits, hard baits like that. I have also been hearing about uh, some nice, uh, or a few panfish starting to move into uh, the shallow bays. Uh, good action from Portage up to the Dells. That's always a, a pretty good float for uh, smallmouth, and pike, and muskie. Um, the Wisconsin Dells Dam I haven't heard much out of specifically, but like I said, nice, always a nice mixed bag at the dams. Uh, Castle Rock and Pettenwell Dams have been um, you know, producing the same nice mixed bag. It sounds like the fishing out on both these lakes has uh, been improving. The water clarity is a lot better now. Uh, the walleye seem to be uh, biting pretty well. Um, they're getting a lot of fish on, um, it sounds like steep breaks. Uh, jigging has been uh, kind of most effective for that, jigging a fathead minnow or uh, blacktail chubs. Uh, also been hearing about uh, some good panfish action uh, along the shores and shallow areas. Uh, and structure wood and stuff like that's been good um, over to uh, the Mississippi River uh, same uh, great action fall action over here walleye bites picking up so heard about some great perch and crappies coming out of there um, over to Milwaukee the salmon run is uh, continues in full force so uh, a lot of fish up in the rivers right now and seen in Oak Creek Milwaukee um, Fort Washington uh, all the way up and down the coast, you're going to find, uh, you'll likely find uh, salmon swimming up the river. Uh, well, the kings are about uh, finishing up right now. There's cohos in there still and some pink salmon. Uh, the brown trout and steelhead are, are either moving in right behind them. I, I guess they're, they're starting to be mixed in there with them. I did hear one report of a, of a nice steelhead caught out of the Milwaukee River. Um, but um, that action is going to improve as we move into November here. But like I said, all the tributaries up and down the river uh, should have salmon in them. Great walleye action up here in Green Bay right now. Uh, I've heard about uh, white bass run continuing over here um, in the Oshkosh area on Lake Winnebago. Um, and trout season is uh, officially closed now. So um, I guess if you're, you still want to scratch that itch, there's always the salmon run over to uh, Milwaukee. Uh, which is always exciting. Uh, uh, you could always try uh, fly fishing on the Wisconsin River. Uh, muskies and pike are plentiful up there and uh, always a good time. Otherwise, uh, you know, there, there is always Iowa. They have uh, their trout season is open year round and uh, up and down the, the Mississippi River on this side, there's a lot of great streams over this way that uh, folks fish. And, you know, you can go over there and get a day pass. It's really, you know, an hour and a half drive maybe from the west side. Uh, so, you know, that's always an option, too. I know a lot of my friends head over there uh, to keep fishing inland trout. But um, otherwise, yeah, I don't uh, have anything else for the report. I appreciate you tuning in. Feel free to post your comments and catches below. If you'd like me to expand on any of the topics we've discussed, feel free to call the shop. Um, but yeah, otherwise, enjoy the beautiful weekend. Get out fishing. Uh, enjoy the weather while it lasts. And uh, we'll talk to you next week. Thanks so much.